Hey everyone, I'm Aaliyah. I'm so excited to share today's video with you guys. I thought about doing it yesterday and as soon as I had the idea, I thought, oh my goodness, I just have to do a video on this. Have you guys ever shopped online, been super excited to get the item in the mail, only to find out that you've ordered the wrong size, that it doesn't fit your body, that it doesn't fit your body the right way, or that it doesn't fit the same way that it did on the model that you saw online? So today I'm actually gonna share my personal tricks on how I always order the right size when I'm shopping online. You don't wanna have to return things and you don't wanna have to deal with that hassle. So let's get started and I'll share my tips. Okay, right now I'm gonna break down how I go through and shop and how I know to get the right size and to make sure that I get the right fit for my body type. So right now I'm gonna show you guys the striped midi skirts that are on Jane. One of the very first things I do on Jane when I get there is if you scroll down, you'll be able to see what size the model is wearing. And that is so important because if I look at her and I say, okay, she's wearing a size small. The first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is analyze her body type. Is her body type like mine? Is she curvy? Is she thin and skinny? Um, does she have hips like me? Does she have a stomach like me? How is the garment fitting on her body? I think a lot of people look at a model and say, wow, that looks so amazing on her, but their body type is different than the models, and so it doesn't fit the same way when you get it back. You look at this skirt right here, it's super cute. I really actually would love to buy that skirt. So you'll notice that this model, she's a small. So I'm looking at her body type, seeing, going through all the pictures, getting an idea of how it fits her body, where does it hit, how long is it, I like the length on it, I'm noticing that her waistband is going to be an issue. The reason why is because I am an apple shape. I'm very aware that I'm an apple shape. There's nothing wrong with it. That's just how my body is built. An apple shape basically means that I gain most of my weight in my stomach area. So I might have really skinny legs, I might have skinny arms, but most of my weight is in my stomach area. Not very cool. Which means I don't really typically like tight things around my stomach because it's just not very flattering. You might be a pear shape, which means that you gain most of your weight in your hips or your thighs, but you have a really skinny stomach. So for me being an apple shape, this skirt is not the best option and I'll tell you why. Because if I go down and I read more information, it will tell me that it's an elastic waist, but at looking at the picture, I can see that it's just a single elastic waistband and a lot of times single elastic waistbands will cut into your sides of your stomach and create like a muffin top even when you don't have one based on the sizes. So right away I know even though I love the skirt and I want to get it in the olive green, it's not going to fit very well when it gets to me because of my body shape and because of what I wanted to do. Even if I went up to a large, it still wouldn't fit right. So because of that reason, I had to pass on buying the skirt. A great example of a skirt that I do love when it comes to midi skirts like this one that you guys know I've posted on Instagram like a bunch of times and everyone keeps asking where I got it. I really, really like the thick waistbands for my body type. You guys see how thick this waistband is. Um, there's no elastic poking in. There's no opportunity for muffin top. It is the most flattering and since I actually really like wearing my pencil skirts like this with t-shirts in the summer because it's so hot outside and it can't handle the heat. I want to have something that I can wear with a tight t-shirt and not get a weird line or lumps coming out that shouldn't be there. That's another one of my tips. If you find a brand or a clothing item that fits you perfectly like a glove without alterations or anything like that, buy it in different colors. There's nothing wrong with you having more of the same shirt that fits you amazing in different colors or patterns. I think it's awesome. And this is the Express Portofino shirt that I literally have over 15 colors and patterns in, no joke guys. I'll link you guys to the shirt below in the YouTube description along with anything else that you need to know about this video. But guys, these are so great, they fit amazing. And like I said, if you find a shirt that just fits amazing, then you need to buy it in multiple colors and sizes because most clothing does not fit you perfectly and unless you're gonna go to a tailor to get everything custom tailored for your body type, you need to stick with the things that fit really good on your body. So let me show you this deal. Um, this deal's actually already ended, it says you missed it, but I wanted to pull it up to show you guys. These are the tulip sleeve blouses that I show you guys on Instagram all the time, anytime that they go on sale. So follow me on there if you guys wanna know when they go on sale next. But if you guys will look, um, we're gonna analyze this lady's body type. Um, if you look at the way that shirt's hanging, I always look to see, okay, how, how do the sleeves fit her body? How long is the shirt? Um, what does the back look like? How does it hang with a pair of jeans? How baggy is it? Like the shirt's pretty baggy. So what I ended up doing with this one is I ended up actually purchasing a smaller size than what it said for me to buy. Like I said, I'm typically a size six, which means that I should buy a medium. 
but because of the way that it was flowing on her and how baggy it was, and because I wanted a tighter fit, a more trimming fit, fit that was still kind of loose, I ended up going to size down and it was perfect. So I ended up getting a small on this and it fits amazing. Now if you like it super flouncy and with a lot of space, then you'll know to buy it the exact size that it tells you to buy right here. If you want it bigger than what it looks like on the model, you'll need to go up a size. This is that tulip sleeve shirt that I was talking about that I absolutely love. It fits so good. I'm a huge fan and I bought it on Jane a ton of times. All right, here's another example. This item actually just sold out. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys this model. She's gorgeous, she's beautiful. But as I'm looking at this, I noticed that she is a 5'1 and she's wearing an extra small. And this is what she looks like in an extra small. I can tell by her body that she's probably very tiny, especially if she's wearing an extra small. But look how the dress just doesn't fit her right. It doesn't make her look smaller. It actually kind of makes her look bigger. So because of that, even though I think it's adorable, I'm not gonna buy it because of how it fit on her. And because I know that if it looks like that on an extra small and I'm not an extra small, it's gonna look even bigger on me. One of the other things that you really need to do when you're shopping online is look at what the material is that your clothing is made out of. It is super important. Depending on what the clothing is actually made of is how it's going to fit on your body. So a really good example of this would be this dress. First of all, I noticed that it's high-waisted. Her body type's a lot more similar to mine. A little bit more curvy, which I appreciate. Um, it says that she's also 5'8", which is only an inch taller than me, so I get an idea of how it would look on me if I was to buy this item. Um, looks good on maternity. Great, so I have a really good idea. Um, I find out also that this is 96% polyester and 4% spandex. Um, that's super important because that means that I know it's going to stretch. That also means that if I'm in between sizes and it's between a small and a medium, I know that I should get a small based off of how it's looking on her body and based off of the stretch. So um, you'll go down here and you'll notice that a medium is a six. Um, because of the way that it fits on her body, I'm gonna go for four, and it'll fit perfect when it comes because of all those things. Now normally, if I wouldn't have taken all those things into account, I would have purchased a medium, and it would have fit fine, but it wouldn't have fit as well as it could have, um, because I didn't take into consideration that there was a lot of spandex in this product, and because it was pretty loose on her body when she wore it. So this is actually an item that I just purchased, and I'm so excited to get it in the mail, but I wanted to talk to you guys about the fit of this dress so you guys can get an idea too. So obviously I'm looking at this model, again, I'm looking and seeing that she's 5'1", and she's wearing a size four, okay? She looks pretty tiny in that picture, and I'm definitely not as small as she is. So when I actually purchased this item, I went up a size because of the way that it fit on her. There's no stretch in it, there's 100% rayon, and I also noticed that it's gonna add half an inch in length for every size that I go up, and I do want a little bit more length so I'm not showing too much leg. After a while, you're gonna start to notice that you're gonna gravitate towards certain brands that you like. One of the brands that I like and I purchase a lot of things from is Coco and Maine. So anytime they have a deal on Jane.com, I definitely hop on and see what kind of deal they have. Cardigans are in season now, guys. It is fall time, so let me talk about cardigans because this is a tricky one that I think a lot of people do wrong. Cardigans are usually baggy. They're usually not super fitted. And if it looks super baggy on the model, it's gonna be baggy on you. If you like a more trim, tailored fit with your cardigans that, me that necessarily don't close all the way, that don't overlap, then you're gonna wanna go with a smaller size. So let's look at Coco of Maine and see what size. You'll notice that they have a small to 3X, so they fit a variety of different body types, which I love. And if I look a little bit closer, hers is a pretty decently fitted cardigan. Um, I don't see any pictures with her wrapped around it. It even shows you the back, which I love. Um, it's pretty like it's pretty slimming and it's pretty not over um, over relaxed I guess would be the word. So we go down here. A medium would be a six to eight. So I would be ordering a medium this time and not a small because I want to make sure that my cardigan fits the same way. Here's another really really good example. So this jersey stripe top is um, a very relaxed fit as it says right here. It's cotton poly and it runs a little big. It actually tells me that it runs a little big. I can tell by looking at the pictures on this model that it does run big, big especially in the sleeves and around the waist area. Um, it looks pretty, pretty relaxed on her. So because of that, again, I'm going to go down a size when I order this shirt because I want it to fit a little bit more um, trim around my body. Still want it loose, still want it to be relaxed, but this is a little bit more relaxed than I want. So again, when I go down here to order, I'm gonna look and see, okay, medium is a six to eight, so I'm gonna order a small because it's a zero to six, and that's why I'm deciding to go down a size. 
All right, so hopefully that gives you guys an idea. Obviously, there's a lot of really cool deals on Jane that pop up every day. So if you guys do shop through Jane, I would love it if you guys could go through the maliashow.com slash Jane anytime you guys shop there. Um, I know you guys love all the giveaways that I do, and a lot of the giveaways that I do do um, are things that I sponsor with my own money and I pay for myself. And the only way that I can afford to do that is if you guys shop through my links because sometimes I get a small commission from these stores for promoting and sharing my favorite products. So that's a way for me to be able to give back to you guys. So if you can shop through my links, I would love you forever. On Jane, and I wish all these other places did this too, knowing what size the model is and what size she's wearing makes a huge difference. Because if I know that she's the same size as me or she's the same height as me, then that really helps me out to know where to go as far as actual sizing goes on whether again I need to go up or down a size. These are all the questions you have to ask yourself when you're purchasing and nothing is more annoying than getting a product that doesn't fit and having to deal with the hassles or returns even if they're free. It still takes your time away, it still takes your money away and if you get a product and even if it fits but it just doesn't look anything like it did on the model, you're gonna have to return that and that's just a waste of your time. So I hope you guys like this video. I'd love to do more stuff like this in the future so I can help you guys save some money, save some time, because that's what my channel is all about. Anyway, if you guys have questions about this or anything else, feel free to leave them below in the comment section. I try my hardest to answer every single question that I get. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss any more of my videos in the future. Thanks so much, guys. See ya.